entry level trail riding a lot of people want you to think the bar is really high mountain biking is not a cheap sport i'll just put that bluntly but it can be somewhat affordable a lot of people want you to think you have to spend seven eight nine hundred even i have people regularly comment on this channel say if you don't spend a thousand dollars you're not doing it right well look most people want to dip their toe in the water try out green trails they just need a bike they can ride on a basic trail without having to do anything to it. And that's where this bike comes in. This is the Ozark Trail Ridge 29. It comes in sized frames and the price point on this, $398. And this is a bike that out of the box, you get a fork that will work on these green trails. You get a one by drivetrain that's actually usable and works and has a good gear range on it. Enough that the entry level rider is going to get past that first hump with to find out if they're even going to like this sport. The entry climb. I'm going to put on your screen my review video. I recommend you go watch that. I'll put a link down in the description as well as where I smartly upgraded this because on a budget and I'm a YouTuber. I know all about budget ad revenues plummeting on YouTube. So every dollar is precious just like a lot of people. I mean, prices have gone up. How many of your pay has went up to match the price? Probably not very many of you. That's where the Ozark Trail is gonna come in handy. And I have smartly upgraded or started some smart upgrades. I call this my smartly upgrade as you can project. And I added in a video, again, I'll link it down in the description, but I put on what's needed, not these grips. That was fluff down here, the pedals. The only out of the box upgrade that I think you really have to do if you're gonna ride this bike on trails is the pedals. Factory pedals known to be well plastic and slippery and horrible. On some bikes, you don't even get pedals because most people bring their own. And I choose this for this bike, the Fookers partially because they're a mimic of my favorite pedal, the Race Face Chester, and they're just as good in my opinion. I'll put a link to these down in the description. I got these at a budget, budget price. Normally they're 22, 24 bucks. I found these on sale for $16 and change. Then there was a $2 coupon on top of that. $16 and change, just barely over $16 to get the only upgrade that I really needed on this bike. Don't want my foot slipping off the pedals when you're running over stuff that's bumpy and terrain that varies. I want to be on the pedal and these pegs on this Fuker pedal, this race face Chester copy, just as good again, in my opinion, just at half the price. That was my necessary upgrade. And then there was nothing wrong with the factory grips. They were a little firm but they did work, but I found these for $11.99. And you know, yellow and yellow, they match. They look good. These are Corky grips, the Corky brand. I've used it before. I like these grips, so I thought, you know, it's my bike. And by the way, let me talk about only $11.99 for those grips, $16 for those pedals. But this bike, I bought it smartly totally by chance look when you're a savvy shopper luck can be one of your best shopping tools 398 dollars. i have a video where i bought this bike at retail price it arrived damaged it had to be shipped and then i later have another video where a buddy of mine found a bike in walmart this ozark trail marked down to 208 dollars and change and I bought that bike only to discover it was the same bike. So I got it again, luck being my savviest shopping tool, $208 and change for the bike. So $208, I added $16 worth of pedals, $12 worth of grips, and was quite happy with my investment, but I'm gonna go even further. This is my upgrade as you can, as you can afford to plan. What have I done extra? I often talk about the three main contact points on a bike. They're very, very important, probably the most important because that's your points of contact with the bike, the grips, the pedals, and the seat. And you might've already spotted, this isn't the factory seat. This one, well, it has yellow. Yeah, just to match the pedals, the sole reason. The factory saddle, not that bad. This saddle, 
it was a budget saddle. I know this design, I've bought it many times. It comes under many brands. This one was, I think, Siski or Siskai, something like that. Like the branding that's actually on it says YF, but this is the YF sport saddle. I mean, just look at that, that yellow and yellow. I feel a lot better about this just because I like the way it looks. I like the way this blends with the pedals and the grips and having a relief groove, you know, that is a little better if you're going to spend some time on the saddle. So that was an upgrade that I made just because I found a deal on it. $17.20. There you go. Sports saddle. Yellow, yellow, yellow. I like it. It's making the bike your own. It's part of bike owning. And that's what I'm doing here for super cheap. So $16, $17.20, dollars I'm just going to round down. 12, 17, and 16, doing pretty well. But I did make one performance upgrade for this video, the second upgrade, the second in my pay as you go or upgrade as you can afford video project, the tires. Now the factory tires, they're not bad. They're not bad tires. They have little tiny knobbies, kind of cross country. They're a blend of being able to ride on the trail and ride on the street, in my opinion, even though they do make decent cross country trail tires, but I wanted something with more bite. So I got this that has some more pronounced, definitely more pronounced knobs. These are Schwalbe branded tires. One of my favorite brands, $37.36 each. Again, very much more pronounced knobbies than the factory tires. These are Schwalbe Nobby Nick. I've used Nobby Nicks before on some builds, had really good luck with them, especially out here on the dirt that makes up the Wildwood Trails, the new green trail, Nobby Nick, an excellent fit. And here's the Schwalbe brand if you need to search. I'll put a link to these down in the description, but these are really good tires. I've always liked Schwalbe. Schwalbe Nobby Nicks, very good tires. A very, very good fit for this Ozark Trail Ridge 29 mountain bike. On these trails, again, a perfect, perfect tire. And I'm going to edit in some footage. Okay, let me break in here and tell you there's no good ride footage. I recorded three clips and I only have one that works because of this. I got gopro You see it says unable to view. Two of my three clips didn't record. It's just GoPro stuff. And that's why I have two of these Hero 9 Blacks. I have eight sevens. I've refused to buy anything new from GoPro since the nine, just because it's so buggy. And so often I lose clips like this. It recorded. I just can't view the file. I can't repair the file. So unfortunately, the only clip it did record is me going uphill. So I'll use what I have, but now back to the video. Just wanted to let you know the ride is better. I just got GoPro. Junk junk i can tell you going into the turns even on the straightaways anywhere you have to veer you need a little extra bite in these tires make the difference they make a major difference for 37 dollars 36 each a big big difference a performance difference that and the new pedals the bike can stay in better contact with the ground i can stay in better contact with the bike that's what you need and it's it's looking better it's looking better. It was already a sharp bike, but I think this looks really, really good. My yellow, yellow, yellow Nobby Nick themed bike. Total investment, $208 plus $12 plus 16 plus 17. Again, I'm rounding down or rounding up where needed. And then plus 37, 36. So 37 times two is math. 60, 74, 208. I think if I'm doing this right, you'll have to double check my math. But I think given those values that um, they're around 328 bucks, 327, 328 bucks. So far for this bike, what I have paid for it, and it is 100% capable of riding the trails that I love to ride every day. And you know, for an entry level mountain biker, I mean, for me that rides regularly, I like this bike. I'm starting to ride it more and more. If you're an entry level rider looking to get into the sport, want to do so on the cheapest coin possible. The Ozark Trail Ridge 29 is set up to give you an entry level platform you can ride out of the box and then upgrade. And I'm not shilling for Walmart or for this bike. I'm just stating the facts. 
This is a good bike with a low entry level point that you can absolutely ride out of the box. And then, you know, after the first ride, change the pedals, but very, very budget. See if you're even gonna like the sport. Cause as I mentioned, that entry level climb, a lot of people never get past that. Do you wanna spend a thousand dollars, thousand or more? If you have it, great. If you're like the rest of us and you don't, budget matters. And that's where this bike, it really comes in to give us options. You can put a dropper post on this, ready out of the box, tapered head tube, the whole works. There's some experienced riders that like this bike. That says a lot when you're an entry level shopper with entry level dollars trying to find something. Anyway, that's my second upgrade and my upgrade as you can, as you can afford to series with this Ozark Trail. More to come on that. Coming up, maybe the next video or within the next couple of days, another budget mountain bike, this one from Mongoose, and it's a full suspension. So stay tuned for that. And that's gonna be it for this video. Comment with what you think about my two new upgrades, the Nobby Nicks, the saddle. Let me hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up this video, subscribe, all that stuff. Have a great day.